Hello everybody. This is your Cassidy Bay Reactions. <sighs> I'm sleepy. Uh, this is Friday currently, the second day of that diet, and I am really considering not doing it, but like a modified version because even if I manage to somehow get through the two weeks, apparently from what I've read about liquid diets, um, it gets rid of an energy, a bit of a type of energy in your body that latches onto water weight when, cause you're not eating anything, but you know, liquids. But once you start eating again, the energy will build back up and you'll start retaining water weight again. So I was like, then what's the point? It's just going to come back. Especially for me, because usually when I try and lose weight, I would lose like maybe five pounds and then it'd just come back. But, uh, I'm gonna try to stick to it. I'm gonna try. I'm not gonna like it, but I'm gonna try. Anyway, I had two protein shakes yesterday, one caramel for breakfast, one vanilla for, for lunch, and for dinner I had a broth my mom gave me. It was a little package of uh, bone broth, chicken flavored. And, um, that was my dinner, essentially. I was seriously considering not doing it, but I left the uh, protein shake I was going to use instead until my dad brought me the soup. Uh, I was going to, uh, have that protein shake for dinner last night, but I didn't. But I'm going to have that for dinner tonight. I really, really, really want to eat something, you know, regular. I was just gonna make, like, make a burger, have a little 50 cent bag of chips, and a bottle of water. That was all I was gonna eat for lunch. But my mom is currently at home with Wyatt because he's on, there's one Friday out of each month that he doesn't go to school and she chose today. Oh, so I'm not gonna be able to do that yet. And I weighed myself today, this morning, and I've already lost 2.2 pounds. So I'm down to 207.2. Not sure if it was because of the liquid diet or if it's just, you know, I don't know, but I had to go to the bathroom a few times yesterday just to, you know, pee. But I don't know. I don't know how well this is going to go. I'm going to try and limit how much I eat and all that once I, if I somehow manage to go through the two weeks that way I can lose even more but I don't know anyway uh, this is gonna be my review for Parasite episode 2 I know I haven't done Parasite in a long while but since I've already finished recording, you know, for Dragon Ball Z Kai, reaction-wise, I figured I'd go on and start doing a little bit of the other shows. I've already gotten a fairy tale, Naruto, and a Parasite episode done from yesterday. But I didn't get anything done because I was just not feeling like, you know, recording any reviews yesterday. So I didn't do it. So for you, those of you who were wanting a video yesterday, I apologize. I just didn't feel like it. I was, I'm probably not going to feel like doing much of anything these next couple of weeks, especially recording, because I don't want to... Take out any frustrations on you guys, obviously, because that's not right. And I'd rather not do it on the customers either. <laughs> oh god, I'm not gonna like this next two weeks. And, uh, anyway, Parasite Episode 2. I figured I'd give you guys a little money update on that, but now that it's over, let's get on with the review. Especially, essentially, Shinichi, um,. Gives the parasite inside him a name, Migi, which apparently means right in Japanese. And. <sighs> there are more and more killings of people going on, and. They're being labeled as the mincemeat murders all over the world because it's not just happening in Japan, it's happening all over. 
so I'm guessing the government assumes that it's like not just obviously one person but it's more than one person and they're technically right but it's not really people it's parasites and uh, Shinichi figures out that they, the parasites are to blame for this and he's really considering taking himself to the police so they can study Migi and maybe figure out why they're doing what they, I guess why they're doing what they're doing and how to st how to keep them from having to keep doing that I guess I don't know but obviously Miggy's against this so he essentially told him yeah if you try and do that to me I am going to do whatever is in my power to stop you essentially so he threatened to cut his voice box and take out his eyes I think cut off his ears or something like that I don't know so yeah Shinichi kind of drops that idea for the time being Anyway, at school, he's actually getting, he's actually... <sighs> better in basketball, and this gets the attention of a girl he likes. That apparently he blew off in the last episode, I don't know. But he apologizes essentially to her about whatever he did. And Miggy noticed that um, he's kind of interested in her, and the funny thing is he tried. Oh my god, I'm not even going to mention what he tried to do, but it was just like, no, don't do that out in public. Now, it wasn't obviously Nietzsche doing it, it was Miggy trying to, I guess, control Shinichi's body to do it. But thankfully, I don't think he did. Because that'd be awkward to walk around with that. Anyway, one of the other classmates gets jealous because he was wanting her since I guess there were kids and he wasn't gonna let Shinichi get in her so he tries to beat him up but Miggy has him punch him with you know his right hand but it freaks him out because the arm kind of extended way beyond how it was supposed to anyway um, while they're out and about uh, they come across another parasite inhabiting a human body and the human body the parasite tries to get Miggy to join him because with the two of them it would increase his likelihood of, you know, surviving. And I thought for a second, is Miggy going to actually consider this? And nope. He cuts off the parasite's head after the parasite had cut his own hand off to give Miggy a place to go to. And... Yeah, not, uh, not good. <sighs> Sorry, I'm tired. My nephew decided to wake me up at 4.45 this morning to turn the TV on. And I tried to go back to sleep, but obviously that didn't happen. Dang it. That didn't happen because they had to get up to get ready for school, but my nephew's not going to school. He's here. Anyway... Uh, so, yeah, he ends up spending time with, uh, dang it, what was her name? I just looked at it. So, so me, whatever her name is, I can't remember what it was, not. but, yeah, the girl he's interested in, they end up going for pancakes and just having a nice time, and he ends up holding her hand while they walked. At first, it was the right hand, I was like, ooh, that'd be a little awkward. But then she switches and goes to the left hand. I don't know why, though. I guess because he wasn't really holding her hand. And maybe she thought if she held his left hand, it would work. I don't know. No, 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 no. He was holding... Yeah, he was holding... She was holding her right, his right hand at first. I had almost got myself confused. No, he wa she was holding his right hand at first. And then she switched to his left. Okay. But yeah, she seems to be interested in him. <sighs> and the weird thing is that we're out when they're out walking, they see some kids, or not the kids, teens, uh, pestering a poor kitty that they buried in the sandbox. And he goes over and frees the cat and tells him to knock it off, that it's a living being that doesn't deserve that. 
and they try to throw rocks at him. He's walking away, and he catches them with his right hand, and says something that I assume that Miggy said, because it was kind of freaky. He said, "I will eat you alive," and that was freaky. I was like, "Dude, no, no, don't say that in front of her. That'll freak her out." Surprisingly, she didn't say anything about that, but it did freak them out, and I it freaked me out a bit. Anyway, I'll get to work on editing, on getting this uploaded. I'll try and record a Dragon Ball Z Kai video as well. And I will see everybody next time.